Holy cow, I am at, well, on the outskirts of um, Agency. Now, Agency is a very small town. There's only about 645 people. Um, in 1838, there was an Indian agency that was established until the local tribes, the Indians, moved to Kansas. Now, Agency is also the site which was founded in 1843, incorporated in 1859. And on a side note, April 11th, 2001, an F2, an F2 tornado went through um, agency and it killed two and injured three. Now, I'm at a very historical site. Very historical. Chief Wapalo Trail. See the pretty flag? This is actually on the, um, um, oh, what's it called? You know, the, one of the sites that, that, that are very historical, the, those kind of sites. Well, look at this. Chief Wapalo. Let me get back a little ways. There we go. Chief Wapalo. I was watching another video a woman recorded around here and she called it Chief Wapello. It's Chief Wapalo. Anyway, up here is this great big old rock. I gave it a look at this rock. And then see what it says. Um this this side is but a signing of the treaty. Let me lower this a little bit. It'll be hard to read because it's in braille almost. Um, this site is the signing of the treaty, October 11th, 1842, for the purchase of Iowa from the Sox, Sox and Fox Indians. And that's nice. And let's go over here. I've been wanting to do this. This has been on my bucket list for a long, long time. Yes. Oh, for some reason, Dad's laughing in the background. He's, he was my ride. What is this? Well, let's take a look and see. Oh. Um, let's go over here first. Let's look at the other. I'm going to get the rocks first. Here's another rock. Look at that. This stone marks the site of the agency house which stood about 50 yards east. I don't know east, so I have no idea. Um, agency house was built by General Joseph M. Street, 1839 for the Indian Agency. You know what? It's time for a powwow. Let's have a powwow. I'm going to sit on this nice looking seat here. Yeah, nice time for a powwow. Oh, what a bummer. Indians. Oh, look at this. Wow, that's pretty. Really pretty. And here, that's probably the house they were talking about, more than likely. Of course, they're getting rebuilt. I'm not sure. Here. Oh, wow. A lot of history in here. Wow. Sox, the Sock, Fox, and Indians. It gives a great big history lesson on it. And there's a Chief Wapalo Trail. It gives more history lesson down here. Wow. Sock, Fox, and Indian Agency. And this town in Folks here, it's not skirts of country, is agency, more history lesson. Look at that. That's pretty. Give more history lesson. General Joseph M. Street. Gives a complete history lesson on them. Huh, born December 18th, 19, uh, 1782. More history lesson. And Wapalo. And that's what our county is named in Tumwa. See the Indian? That's Chief Wapalo. And it gives a whole history lesson about Chief Wapalo. Everything you want to know. Uh, Signing of the treaty. 
See? 3D papers, and it gives history lesson on that too. So if you want to really learn about history of the Indians, this is a great place to go. Um, homesteading. Oh, I like I love that guy on that horse. And gives more history lesson. Even over here. A lot of history. The railroad, and there's a railroad here on the other side. And there's more history lessons. You could really learn a lot by coming here. And here you go. Try to keep it on there a little bit longer so people can read it. Um, preserving the past for the future, which is very important. Look at that. Iowa flag. Um, ah, interesting. 1976, Chief Memorial Park, Natural Registry. That's what I was trying to think of, Natural Registry. That was the year I was born. Wow. Huh, park, mem park maintenance funded by association of membership and donations. Wow. You want a big time history lesson, come visit this. I'm gonna walk over here. See, right over there is the train tracks, right there. And there's my ride over there. Now let's go visit something else around here. This is a really nice site. I don't know what this is up there. Nothing is there. Maybe a sign and ledge or something. Now grave sites. Um, let's see. Oh, this is um Chief Wapalo's um right here. It's a little hard to see because I can't get too close because this chain leak fence and I can't get in. But that's his grave site. It's a little blurry there, I know. Um, distinguished in valor from the early year, distinguished from the early years of his valor. Uh, he was less remarkable. He was no less remarkable for his kindness and devotedness toward his people, his honesty of character, and strict friendship toward the white man, one for himself, universally regarded. And there's his his gravesite. That looks sort of random sitting there, a bird feeder. Uh, he was born about the year 1878. He died near the Fox of the Skunks River, March 15th, 1842. Gravestones, I can't read them. They're pretty hard to read. And I notice a little bit blurry. Um, Lucy Francis, wife of John Beach and daughter of Joseph Street, born November 23rd, 1810, died July 31st, 1845, at the Raccoon River. Wow. Um, this is Jennifer, Jennifer Joseph M. Street's um, grave site right here. Heart full of full of um, best feelings of humanity. Virtual honor to and piety with his guide. Guide, guide, guides. He died May 15th, 1840. This one here is Elizabeth M Mara. Elizabeth Mara. Um, consort of Jennifer Jofa Street. She born in Virginia. August 26, 1792, and died February 2nd, 1847, 47 years old. Wow. And that's, that's her grave, grave site right there. A couple more. Um, left, which would be over there, that, that one, is um, Horse P Street, age four months. Hmm, an infant. Both of them are. The other one's John, John B Street, 10 months. They were pretty young. Common back then, though. But there isn't a whole lot out here, but it's a definite destination de destination to visit. It's really a, really a great um, learning experience. You can learn about the Indians, learn about Chief Waffalo, and all, kind, all kinds of stuff. 
that I've been wanting to do. And there's the train tracks. So I would definitely put this on your bucket list to come out here and visit sometime. I am in the biggest town in the world. Ah, not really. 645 people. Agency. I'm here and I guess you would call this downtown. Not exactly sure. I did see this. In memory of Tornado 41101. In memory of Grandpa Dude Creamer. And a flag. There we go. Well, um, something different. There's not a whole lot here to actually film. Let me cross the highway here, or the road. Let's see. There's their city hall. Not the big city hall. There's their public library. Wow, is that a big library? And the post office. Wow, this is a big post office. That's a really big post office. Let's see. Uh, Agent Area Community Center. Across the street is a bank. There's your big bank. I just sort of thought, well, you know, and do something different here. And there's not a lot here. It's not a very big town. Small towns in Iowa. Crossing the street here again. Let's see. This is. What is it? Uh, Farmhouse Deli. Farmhouse Deli. Uh, no parking day or night. Uh, maybe it was a, um, uh, for fire trucks originally. Yes, welcome to the big cities here in Iowa. Let's see. Um, you can get your clips on Maine. Um, uh, Mrs. Vanson's Egg Noodles, home style. Oh, that sounds good. Oh, must be their town logo. Hmm, looks like a fire, almost. Anyway. That's a sign you don't see very often. Right here. Share the road. Okay. Across the street is an old. Oh, wow. Look at that. Well, big city of agency. And there's their water tower way over in the way over, way over yonder. I know. Very exciting. Well, what? Just a cow? Yes. I know. Um. Yes, got out of town, and it's not my longest video, but you know what? I don't care. I really don't care, because I really enjoyed getting out of town and filming something different besides a Tumwa. And probably tonight, to finish it up, and I will do um, number one on my King of the Ring. I think you pretty, it's pretty evident. What, I'm pretty sure people know they've been following this that they pretty much know what number one is by now I mean, it's just pretty evident. I mean, there's no question. I think this pay-per-view Was number one and I hope you enjoyed my outdoor video. It was more of a history lesson than anything else and I think that you know, that's what has always interested me, and it's something I would love to do way more of in the future. Really far in the future. I would literally love to do more of that because that's a lot of fun to me. You know, going back in history, stuff that people have forgotten completely entirely. 
And you know, I did, did downtown agency. It wasn't much downtown agency. It was something different I wanted to do. So I hope you enjoyed my video. And tonight, I'm going to try um, relaxing with Donnie and just a cow. I don't know if that's going to go over too well. I don't know how well people like it. But I'm going to do it again tonight. I'm going to try it for a few days and see if people like it. If they don't, I will scratch it. What, just a cow? Yeah, we'll see how well it goes. Well, me and just a cow are saying, if you like our videos, please subscribe. Me and just a cow are saying, that's all for now. 